mother kept a diary from the day that she married. It's kind of heart-wrenching. She starts out with all this hopefulness, finding the love of her life and looking forward to having a family. Nine months later, they find themselves imprisoned. They were removed to the Tan Fran racetrack, which was a temporary detention facility. If you had 1 16th Japanese blood, even if you were a baby in an orphanage, you were put in an orphanage in one of the camps. This was based on race. My mother had uh, morning sickness and in, placed in a horse stable where they could still smell the manure. And she wrote in her diary that she was sick every day and unable to eat. She was concerned about what was happening to the baby that was growing inside of her. From there, they were sent to Topaz, Utah. There, my brother was born. There was so much turmoil inside the camp. There were factions, those that were supportive of the administration. And then there was a growing resistance. That resistance movement uh, gave them a place where they could feel some personal dignity by opposing the oppressive conditions, of the terrible food. Uh, there was not enough milk for the children. Uh, there was a limit on how much coal you could have to heat the rooms. It was 1943 by then, and they were required to answer what was called the loyalty questionnaire, asking them if they were, one, uh, willing to bear arms against the enemy, and two, if they would be willing to disavow any loyalty to the emperor, which they never had in the first place. By then, they had already decided that they would have a better life in Japan, and eventually they would renounce their American citizenship out of despair. People who answered no to those two questions uh, were considered disloyal by the government and then transferred to the maximum security Tule Lake uh, Segregation Center in Northern California. And this is where I was born. I asked my mother, why would you have another child in a prison camp? And she said, well, there were rumors that if you had more children, they wouldn't separate the family, which turned out not to be true because uh, eventually my father was separated from us and sent to a different prison camp. Nobody stood up for us. There were no marches or vigils or petitions protesting our incarceration. It's the same euphemistic language. It's the prison. The prison with electronic gates, with guards with guns and cells. Many of us are wanting to stand with people who are being targeted today and not letting them feel like they're Incarceration is justified and we're going to ignore it. We're, we're not. <laughs>